Hi everyone, Gemma here. Thank you for watching today. It's launch day. Are you excited? <laughs> um, we've got the new collection here from Made to the Prize, which has been designed by Sam Calcott. If you're new to the channel, I'm the design team member for uh, Made to the Prize. And I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the collection and show you the samples that I've made. So it's quite a large collection. We've got two mechanisms, four stamp and die sets, sentiments and a paper pack. So I'll go through the me mechanisms first. So we've got two different sizes. We have the A2 and the five by seven. So when you look at the packaging, I'm sure you think, what the heck is that? <laughs> That's what I did. I was like, how does this work? Anyway, um, Sam will have many detailed tutorials on showing you how to make this but basically these are the arms and this is sort of the mechanism that you pull in and out of the card and the arms um, fit through the slot here so you can have up to like six things moving on your card at one time. Then we've got these four stamp and die sets so they're all really detailed stamps and they to help you build your scene on your screen on your card so I'll start with on the ice so we've got these snowy hills you can build those up in your background um, some lovely houses trees and um, we've got skaters skiing lots of different elements there then over the rooftops so we've got the tops of the houses there we've got individual houses as well We've got Santa's legs and boots popping up, so that's great for your movement. Trees, snowmen, presents, door, wreath. Um, these children, they're so sweet. <laughs> then we have the North Pole. So we've got Mrs. Claus and Mr. Claus. Um, we've got some uh, bunting, I couldn't think of the word then. <laughs> we've got a North Pole sign, Santa sign, more houses, lots of elves and gnomes more trees and presents and the string of lights there and then lastly we have the treetops so as the, as the um, name suggests we've got tops of the trees there we've got santa on his sleigh um, we've got penguin skiing or ice skating i should say santa checking off his list Lots of bells, presents, snowflakes, stars, holly. As I said, these are all really detailed and they're great for building your scenes. Then we have the Sentiments A5 stamp set. So we've got let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. With lots of love, believe in the magic. From our home to yours, Merry Christmas. Se separate stamp then and a Happy New Year. To you and yours, happy holidays. Have a wonderful Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Jingle all the way. Wishing you lots of fun and laughter this Christmas. Happy New Year. Have a holly jolly Christmas. All these stamps are designed to sit in the bottom of the mechanism. So if I just bring that back in there, so this portion here, they will all fit within that area. And there's some lovely sentiments there. Some of these can be used outside of your Christmas cards. So we've got with lots of love from our home to yours, um, to you and yours. Then lastly, we have the five by seven paper packs. There's four each of six designs, 190 GSM. So this size will fit both of the mechanisms and there's some really lovely snowy backgrounds. So you have these lovely three shades of pink then we've got two of this teal colour, so lighter and a darker shade there, and a blue. I think they're gorgeous. I just love that they can be used in the um, background of your card or you can use it with the actual mechanism piece to create that scene. So I'll just show you the samples that I've made. So my brief this month was to make four using the Christmas stamp and die sets and to use an alternative way. Um, so I'll talk you through the Christmas ones first of all. 
So we have this Believe in Magic A2 card with a snowy background um, on the back there. I've stamped directly onto the white panel and coloured those in. I've also uh, cut and coloured additional pieces. And I've got three moving parts on this one. So I've got the present, the elf and Santa. And <laughs> Santa just goes mad. <laughs> it's so, so fun. Sorry, it was slightly off camera there. Hopefully you can see that a bit better. <laughs> it's so fun. I'm sure many of you are going to really enjoy this um, kinetic style. So sample number two is this pink, purple and teal colour that I've gone for. Um, I've got the houses in the background, um, the choir or the carol singers down the bottom from our home to yours. I've used the pattern paper as the front of the card on this one um, and I did die cut an additional piece so I cut the pattern paper and then the white panel and attach them together just to add a bit of strength because I, um, the pattern paper is lovely on its own it's great if you're sticking it on the back of your or on your card base um, but I don't think it's strong enough to hold all of these pieces just by itself so so I've got the two moving pieces here I've got Santa going down the chimney and the reindeers at the top there I've added a bit of glitter on there I don't know if you're capturing it it's really sparkling when I look at it but I don't think you can get that on on screen maybe a little bit on the snow there um, but yeah really liked making this one then sample number three I've just gone for one moving piece of Santa and the reindeer in the night sky there I've blended the background and then I've cut the mechanism piece from it um, I've cut and coloured all of these houses and trees and if I can just move that around slightly I've added glitter on the houses um, as a snow there on the trees it's a really sparkly number for the blended background I used faded jeans wilted violet and villainous potion to create the night sky there I really love the colours on this card. I think this one has to be my favourite out of the um, six samples. And then we've got the sleigh and the reindeers moving in the sky there. Love it! And this is the fourth Christmas sample. So I've gone for lots of detail on this one, showing all the stamps. And, and the coordinating dies there. I've used the treetops die. Um, I haven't used the stamp, I've just used the outline die on that one. And stamped with lots of love. Got lots of elements on you, the trees, the houses, the children, and I've got five moving pieces on this one. So if I just move that up and down. So you've got the elf moving here, the two children, and the other elf, and a boy there behind the houses. <laughs> I can't stop laughing when I'm playing with these cards, they're just so fun. Then lastly I've got the two alternative cards. So I've used flowers and butterflies for both. So on this one I've got two moving butterflies. This one moves a lot better than this one, but I think it's because I've got quite a lot in the background there. And um, I've heat embossed onto coloured cardstock with white embossing powder. And I really like the um, look that it gives. I've got these teal butterflies. I've added three layers to those and used some Nouveau drops then to add a bit of texture and interest and I've used the stamp from the Christmas stamp set with lots of love. As I said, I think that works quite well. You know, it doesn't necessarily scream Christmas to you. And then lastly, I've got this A2 um, butterfly in the center there of the flowers. So it's just one moving piece on this one. And it moves really well. 
I've used the word die hugs I think this is from the creative cuts collection added some gems in the center there I've also heat embossed onto colored cardstock but I've used the stress oxides just to add a bit of shading and um, a bit more interest to those images there so there's all my samples they're ready to send off now to Sam um, you can catch her live today at 12 30 on Facebook uh, that's the craft stash page and um, she'll be showing you the collection in more detail um, all the samples made and demonstrating how it all works and fits together so I always like to ask which one of your samples is your is your favorite so number one number two three four five six so um if you let me know in the comments i haven't made any tutorials for these card samples due to the time constraints that i had um apologies if you can hear any background noise we've got some workmen at the back of the house um so sorry if the the microphone is picking any of that up um I, as, as I was saying I haven't made any tutorials for these um, but if you'd like to see these recreated then let me know in the comments below I'll link all the products used in the description box below they are affiliated links it doesn't cost you any extra but I do get a small percentage from those and it just helps me bring more content to the channel I hope you've enjoyed seeing the collection and the samples that I made. If you have, you might want to hit the like button, leave a comment or consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.